Nearly all construction sites, large and small, commercial and residential require dewatering. Whether the issue is a high water table that fills excavations, standing water, retention ponds or trenches, equipment must be brought in to remove and possibly treat the water. For the past several years, construction site managers have been required to test the water found on site. Sample water is tested for different types of contaminants, including PFAS. The contaminants must be removed from the water to levels defined by local, state, or federal discharge regulations. If water treatment is required, portable treatment systems would be brought to the site. This portable treatment is typically more cost effective than hauling water for disposal. Treated effluent water can then be discharged to the municipal sewer system, land applied, or to a nearby water source such as a river, stream, or lake. The discharge permit will contain all the requirements for discharge. In this example, Evoqua Water Technologies was hired by an engineering firm to treat the water from a construction site in a large metropolitan area. Historical contamination was known to be present. They used the water sample test results provided by the engineering firm to design optimal system based on the chemistry of the water and the desired flow rate. Water was transferred from a dewatering well to a series of settling tanks. Pumps then transferred water through a series of step-down particulate filters. These filters provided sediment removal to less than one micron nominal. From these filters, the water was then processed through 64,000 pounds of granular activated carbon before passing through a last high-efficiency particulate filter for removal of total suspended solids to 0.05 micron absolute. Finally, the treated water passed through a totalizing flow meter prior to being discharged to the city sanitary sewer. Among the contaminants removed from the water were targeted PFAS, mercury lead, benzene, perchlorate, and many others. Evoqua's superior expertise in treating construction watering activities made the water and community safer by removing these contaminants ultimately assisting the municipality's wastewater treatment by removing persistent compounds that may otherwise have made their way through the system.